What's up, Libra? How we doing? Hopefully this doesn't die. I'm going to try to keep this short. If you're new here, my name's Tori. This is your weekly reading. If you're interested in anything that I offer, it's all linked in the description below. Uh, personal readings, email me or go to my website, which is all linked in the description below. If you want to become a patron, linked in the description below. It's all there. Um, I'm keeping this... I'm doing this as quickly as I possibly can because my camera looks like it's going to die soon. And I just can't be having that. I, re I rebuke that fucking energy. Let's see what we got for the Libras. Okay, a lot of people are getting this. You got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Wow, okay. The four of sword, uh, Five of Swords. And the King of Cups, upright. Uh, you're needing, I'm really feeling like you're needing to protect your emotions. The Ten of Swords is in reverse. Whoop, maybe do a little bit of releasing uh, from certain triggers. But the Five of Swords is like a little bit of defeat, but you're needing to really um, give back to yourself emotionally. This could be also about somebody that is like an energetic match, but you're needing to either disconnect from them emotionally and again, just give yourself the love that uh, you know you deserve. The King of Cups is like, knows how he feels, gives emotions to the people who deserve it. He's diplomatic. He doesn't really express as much as, he, as the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very like, come in, let me make you tea and let's meditate together and like be zen. This is like you're needing to give that kind of energy to yourself. Um, could be a fight too. Five of, five of swords can sometimes be just resistance for me. The emperor in reverse. Mm. I gotta keep going. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And there's the Ten of Swords in reverse that is now coming out. Um, these two cards right here, this is self-love and self-care. Both of these right here. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is that self-care card, right? You're needing to nurture yourself. The Queen of Cups is like filling the cup back up, the, your cups back up, really needing to love yourself, fall in love with yourself. There are two different things. You can give yourself that bubble bath and that'll feel really fucking good. Um, and not to say that that's not necessary. They both kind of go hand in hand, but this is that bubble bath going and getting your nails done giving that nurturing to yourself this is the true learning how to love who the fuck you are even on the days that you're feeling out of control or the days that you aren't really pampering yourself right it's having that baseline to go to um there's also something I really feel like that requires your intuition, a lot of releasing. I feel like you guys are doing the releasing, but maybe there are some of you that haven't released fully yet. Fears, triggers. Emperor in reverse is sometimes out of control energy. And the six of wands at the bottom of the deck is about victory, recognition, not y'all needing to recognize yourselves. I'm getting a lot of emotions out here for the Libras. Recognize your emotions? I don't fucking know. There's some sort of conflict. The Five of Wands comes out. Um, maybe you're in conflict with somebody who doesn't have your best interest at heart. They're kind of abusing their power over you or something like that. And, and the cards are saying you're needing to really disconnect emotionally from that person and um, learn to love yourself. So maybe you can release it. Yeah, because I feel like you can't yet. Six of Swords is like in reverse. You can't move. You can't move from it yet. The only thing you have is your fight. 
but that's not serving you. You need to like, you need to serve you in a different way. If that makes sense. Yeah. Nine of wands in reverse. Um, that is paranoia, overwhelm. Um, giving up. Like almost like you're at this point where you're like, I fucking give up. Not in a good way either. You got the the magician at the bottom of the deck. Which is a good sign. You're tired of fighting, it feels like. You're tired of putting up this fight. I'm not getting de- I'm not getting depression vibes from from this at all. I'm just getting like you're tired of fighting this this thing. Judgment in reverse. Four of cups in reverse. You need to break away from whatever this or whoever this thing is, right? Uh the page of cups upright. The Emperor in Reverse and the King of Cups in Reverse, I feel like, are two separate entities. It's like there's a person out there who really, really, maybe maybe it's just energetically, right? Like, the love that you can receive if it's not a specific physical person. It's like you could be open to receiving this love because the page is open and ready for love. The Page of Cups is so open and ready for love. You are too paranoid to be open and ready for love. I'm not getting like self-worth issues, but kind of. With the Queen of Cups in reverse. Maybe y'all have been abused so much in a specific relationship, even even if it's platonic, like maybe you dealt with a lot of abuse as a kid or something like that. You've just been through so much, the ringer, that y'all don't know if... Um, you're worthy of a good love you know and this could be coming up because there is somebody in your life that is good for you and you know they are and they're willing to tick all your bo- like they tick all your boxes and they're willing to give you the love you know you deserve but you don't know A if you can receive that love and B if you want to the judgment in reverse is like it's a it's a judgment call either a you're not making or b you're missing the mark completely ace of swords can be it's really just clarity i i, I don't really see this card in particularly with this deck as a conversation i just kind of see it as clarity mental clarity the Four of Cups is like assessing your options, assessing what you have in front of you so that you can make the right decision because I don't think you have up to this point and you know that. Whatever decisions you've made for yourself have genuinely hurt you deeply. Page of Pentacles in reverse, stuck. Not making any moves, that makes sense. Two of Cups in reverse. This could be about a specific person or it's just in general, like, no, I think it's about a specific person. Maybe you're self-sabotaging or something like that. I don't know. Maybe you have Ten of Pentacles. That is a stable offer, a stable person, stable foundation. Maybe you're needing to build that for yourself, though, Libra. Maybe it has nothing to do with another person. Maybe that's why the two of cups is in reverse. It's like, no, this isn't a relationship thing. This isn't another person. This isn't about another person. This is about you. This is a you thing. 100%. It's like you can't be fully happy until you learn to make yourself happy. That no matter who comes in your life, whether they come correct or... They're the best person that you've ever met. It might work for a while, but if you are not happy within, 
they could literally bring you the moon and it wouldn't fucking matter. Right. As I'm saying that, being happy within, the fucking hermit comes out, which is all about the inner work. For yourself, seeing things for yourself. Eight of, there's something or some some things from, I'm feeling like from the past, eight of cups in reverse, that you're having a hard time moving on from. A person maybe, this could be a family member. I would I would guess it's an abusive family member because uh the the emperor's in reverse could be a male figure. Doesn't have to it's not doesn't have to be for everybody. It could be a male maybe an ex-husband. It's it's somebody from the past though or things from the past that you have yet to really fully heal from or move on from or let go of. You got the Knight of um, Cups, Knight of Swords, upright. This is, again, this is like any single person. Of course, my camera dies. This is any single person who's coming in with good intentions that wants to reciprocate. Temperance is, is, is at the bottom of the deck. That wants to give you that balance and harmony that they know you deserve. It's like... The cards are saying no matter who that is, it could that person could wear seven different faces. It wouldn't matter because, again, you're needing to give yourself the answer here in the situation. I don't know what that means. Let me uh, pull some oracle cards. Prosperity lies ahead. We love that. A time for healing, like I said. The answers you need are coming, and I feel like they're within you. And show the world the real you. And conclusions are within reach. Right. So the releasing is going to happen, I feel. The um, new beginnings are going to happen. You're just needing to do a little bit more work. That's what I got for you, Libra. I love you guys very much, and I will see you in the next reading. Peace out.